Hello, I'm Shadow Caval, and welcome back to some more Breaching Clear. So we are playing, we're in China on the bomb defusal mode, and we're on the third mission, third operation, Operation First Light. The crew quarters represents tight spaces and long corridors. Secure the crew quarters and dismantle the bomb intent on sinking the ship. So, as soon as we start this level, as soon as we start this level, we realise we have two bombs. So not only are we on a bigger level, but we also have two bombs to contend with. We have one minute and ten seconds, so that's like... 6, 6, 12, 14 rounds-ish? About 14 rounds. We've got about 14 rounds before the bomb wears off. We need about 3 rounds for each bomb. There are 3 entrances. There's A, B and C. What I think I should do is probably start from two ends of the ship. So if I start some guys in B, this room, they can clear this room, I clear this room, then pop into here and then start sweeping the quarters. I have two guys in C, and they can start sweeping these rooms here to the side, hopefully find the bomb. So I'm guessing probably one bomb's going to be in here, and another bomb may be in here, but it's probably randomised, so don't really know. But, two in B, two in C. Let's go, shall we? <clears throat> so no bomb has revealed itself on the map so far, so what we're going to do... Oh, that's, he's not looking at the door, is he? Oh, he is looking at the door. Right, he's going to check this room out. Yes, sir. Curtis is going to pop onto here, I think. That seems fair. And so, probably a bomb in here, so I want to check it out quickly. It. Townsend, right. So we've got all these little crew quarters to clear out. So he'll stick his head in there. Lang will move up. Side of the corridor here, so you can watch this room here, and then we'll come from this way. Yep. Um, yeah, that's about it for this one. So let's go. Oh, big clank of the door. Well, there's a guy there, and two guys in this room dead. That's good. There's a guy in this room dead. No bomb. No bomb in this room either. That's interesting. So they're probably one down each side or something. But we can now move. So where is Green? Green is here. So we'll do these two guys sweep this way, we'll get these two guys to sweep down here. So they're going to move straight across. There's green. Curtis is going to move. So Curtis can actually move all the way down here and start shooting this bloke. This guy's going to walk around the corner in a second. And Lang will take him out. So Townsend's cleared that room. He's going to now come and clear this room. If he pops here, you can see the whole room, but he's open to attack from the side. If we move Lang up a little bit, he can watch down both corridors, which will probably help. Um, these two guys are moving. Let's go, shall we? This guy's dead straight away. This guy's going to be dead in a second. There we go. I found one of the bombs. Ah, I think we've actually got defused them in... No, we don't. Never mind. I thought it might be an order of one to two, but these things have now appeared. So, that's one bomb we found. The only problem with defusing the bomb straight away is bad guys are going to start pouring onto the level, making it harder for my second team to actually find their bomb. Because bad guys are going to come from here and here and here. I don't want them to be caught in the corridor. So what I might do... We've got plenty of time to play with yet. I still need to find the bomb. So we're going to leave this bomb for now and help these guys clear this place out so they'll clear these toilets out we've also got up here to clear out as well which we could do in a second green is going to come to here nope here can't really see much can he and clear this room out where's curtis curtis is just here so curtis can come and clear this room out that seems good to me and we've got this room behind us as well uh, okay let's go so if you know one pops out here and shoots me in the back, because that would be pretty bad. So no bomb, no bomb in these three rooms. So let's move... Oh, this guy's not dead, actually. We'll just leave him fighting him there, then. He can clear this room out. Curtis can stay there for now. Townsend can move and help clear this room out. Lang can move and clear this room out. And then we'll move them back to this bomb, and then hopefully we'll have found another bomb, because there's only a few more rooms to actually search. Let's go. So this guy's now dead. 
Oh shit, that guy's in there. He's dead. No one in this room, so still no second bomb. Oh, never mind, I found it here. So, get a green and Curtis on one bomb, Townsend on Lang on the other. So, Townsend is going to go. Sorry, Lang is going to. My back guy's going to spawn from here, so he's best to sit on this and catch him in the corridor as they come. Townsend can come sit. Uh, let's have a look. Here, and defuse the bomb just out of. Just kind of say if they got, they can't shoot him as soon as they step in line with the door. They've got to come in a little bit or come from the top. Curtis is going to move. If I move Curtis onto the bomb. No, if I move. Okay, it's green. Green's going to move here. Because no one's going to be able to shoot him unless they actually come into the room. Curtis is going to move. Curtis moves here. Actually, what am I going to do with green? To pop his head in, make sure there's no bad guys, because if I put um, Curtis in here to look up, if anyone's in here, they'll come and shoot him in the back, which I don't really want. And then he can move that way. Got it. Curtis is going to move and face up here. Which will cut anyone come from here. Anyone come from here will... Well, it would be interesting if they come from that. <clears throat> but I can move Lang if I need to to counteract that. So let's go, shall we? So as soon as you step on the bombs, bad guys are going to start spawning. So they're all spawning from the top and the bottom. But we're defusing both at once. One bomb is actually taking longer than the other. I'm not sure which bomb that is. No idea. So now we've got to. These guys are going to pour through here. This way is probably going to pour through here. I'm just going to leave everyone where they are, actually, just for now. They probably hasn't got a very long sight, so the bad guys will come pretty close to him to get him. Could move here and take him out straight away, but that would leave him ready to be attacked by this bloke. We'll do that anyway, because I don't think this bloke's going to come through the door and get around the corner in time this, this turn. I'll pop him back in next turn. Okay. Curtis is going to stay here, because these guys are going to come through this doorway. Let's go, shall we? So that's two guys taken out, which is pretty good. Oh, shit. There's lots of bad guys, and they start going through the toilets as well. Lang turned around and shot this guy in the back, luckily. So Lang will face him up here. Although it does mean that... There we go. So you can see both. Although these guys are going to come around the corner, aren't they? Shit. But he's got to come... <clears throat> Okay, so we've got a bit of an issue now with actually. Let's, let's see what can, what can Curtis see. That bloke and these guys. So Curtis should kill that guy, hopefully. Yes, sir. So I'm going to leave Lang looking at this corridor here. These guys obviously defusing bombs. Let's try this out. So this guy's actually pulled back in. That's good. So that guy pulled back in the toilet and. Down, okay, both bombs defused at the same time. Excellent. So that's quite interesting. It's a bit different from normal. They had quite a lot of attack points and. Places like a flank through, like the bathrooms and stuff like that. Um, that's excellent. Four stars. Sorry, my chair just um, slipped backwards all of a sudden. Four stars. 17 enemies killed. 34.4 seconds. 5,660 XP. 2,000 dollars. Lang got rated to level 20. Uh, Townsend is now level 7. He's a weapon sergeant. Curtis won't get a le level up, and neither will Green. So it's just two levels up here. Let's pop these in. So he got, well, 10 kills. Lang got 10 kills by himself. No assist and took no damage. Brilliant. That's really good. Townsend got um, two kills, took five damage. So took a minimal amount of damage. But he was defusing a bomb as well. That's pretty good. But I'm actually going to take a break right now. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.